Okay, this is the t November 2021 exam paper one, and we're just going to get started here. The first four questions we're going to do, or at least <coughs> the first three, maybe we'll do in one video. They just say solve for X, and in this one they say solve for X and round it off to the nearest decimal place. Well, uh, two decimal places. Well, that means, hey, it must be the quadratic formula for the second one. But the first one, you want to factor. You don't want to use the quadratic formula. You could and get 6 and minus 4. But you have to see that two numbers that multiply to equal negative 24 would be 6 times 4. And minus 6 plus 4, when you do the FOIL thing outside and inside, you get minus 2x. So there's your factoring x is 6 and or minus 4. Now here, the quadratic formula a is 2, b is minus 3, c is minus 3, and there it is. Negative b plus or minus um, b squared minus 4ac over 2a. There it is. You don't want to put all that in your calculator. You want to go 9. 2 minuses make a plus 30, um, 9 plus 24, and you get 33. You want to put that in your calculator. 3 plus root 33 over 4 and 3 minus root 3 over 4, root 33 over 4. And then you round it to the nearest hundredth, and there's your two answers. Now, the next one, people often make a mess of the last part. I'm not sure why. You just have to put it in standard form, add 4 to both sides. You have to factor. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 plus 1, 4. X plus 1. X is 5X. Your critical values, that is, the values that make it zero, are minus 4 and minus 1. Now, you want to find out where it goes negative. Well, if you pick something just to the right of minus 1, like 0, um, you'll see a 0 plus 4 times 0 plus 1. That's not less than 0. It's positive. But pick something in between, like minus 2. Minus 2 plus 4 is 2. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. 2 times, that's a negative. In fact, pick anything in the region between minus 1 and minus 4, and you'll get 0 or a negative number. In fact, there it is. There's an illustration of it. Uh, but all you have to put is that x is, what is the solution for x that makes this less than or equal to 0? It's when x is smaller than or equal to minus 1, but greater than or equal to minus 4. Now, you can write this in set notation. X is an element of this set equal to minus 4 and everything in between to minus 1, including minus 1. That's what the closed brackets are. Okay, I think we have time just to do the last question. It's a third equation, and you get a mark just for knowing. How do I get rid of a third, this third? You have to isolate it. Often it's not isolated like this. The square root all by itself and everything else on the other side. You square both sides, it becomes x plus 28. You go 2 minus x times 2 minus x. Be very careful because there's four products, and the answer is 4 minus 4x plus x squared. You get minus 2x, and another minus 2x is a minus 4x. Okay, now what we'd do is we'd subtract 28. We'd get minus 24. We'd subtract x. We'd get minus 5x. So we'd have x squared minus 5x minus 24 equals zero on this side. They just turned it around like this. They factored it. Eight times three is 24. Minus eight plus three is minus five. So there it is. Now you have to test it. Now in this memo, x minus three makes this true, but x equals eight doesn't work because you get a negative here and a positive answer there and it just isn't true. So you have to say, you have to check and see what the solutions are. That's what you have to do. Okay, well, there's the first part of question one. The first part of question one, all done. There you go.